A grass fire tears through a highway meridian along the Pat Bay Highway Tuesday. Incredibly, a water truck just happens to be passing by. The employees from H2X Contracting jump out and get to work on the fire. And they just didn't think twice about it. They just thought they would try and knock it down. It's just another day for them. So um, as long as they were safe, that was what our dispatcher told them as well. Sandage fire crews were on scene within minutes. But for the H2X crew, this is not their first roadside firefighting effort. Earlier in this week, we were up in Lake Couch and, and uh, found another uh, fire on the side of the road that we helped out with. The conditions are right for any type of fire to escalate quickly, especially in the tall, dry grass of the highway meridians. I think you had all the perfect conditions there. You had you know grass, which is very flashy fuels. Um, you had very dry conditions, then you had wind. You had a little bit of upslope, so a little bit of topography that started heading up the hill a little bit. So those are all the things that are, that are there. No measurable rain has fallen in July, but some may be on the way Monday night and Tuesday. If we didn't get that rain, we would be tracking at probably the driest or tied with the driest record Julys on record because other Julys have also had no rain. So essentially, if you get no rain, you're tied for first. While it's unclear what exactly caused this fire along the Pat Bay, until the fire danger rating comes down, the message is be careful. Be very, very careful. Be understand that, you know, as simple as, like you said, potentially a cigarette out a window or, you know, a car malfunction or something like that is going to cause us the roadside fires. Cooler temperatures will also arrive early next week. Until then, the conditions will remain tinder dry.